Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Block Breaking SMP. Now, as you know, we run a couple shops on the server, one of which is this one here, and we've had one customer, but you probably didn't know that I have some involvement with some of the other shops as well, like this one here, Simrex's TNT shop. We helped him build the Creeper Farm a while back, and he's been meaning to build a new one soonish. Soonish is a relative term that's been said for the past, you know, few months. But uh, in the meantime, I've been using my own farm, restocking it and such. As well, the flower farm behind me, actually. Now, I haven't mentioned it, but uh, this used to be Red's flower farm. And I've been running it ever since. So, you know, means I gotta get the dyes and I gotta stock it up. And really, it's just some, like, weekly chores that I do around the server. And I thought, that's what we should do today. Just kind of see what goes on in a in the week on a, on the block breaking server. And, well, a lot of the diamonds is usually what it is. Uh, so this is just one of the shops, and I thought, you know, let's go through them and see how many diamonds we get over the course of a week. Now for the TNT shop. And this over here is Rockling Sand Shop which I've been restocking for the past while because of the concrete duper made with Wild a while back. So, as you can see, we've got quite the haul here. And, you know, that's a lot of diamonds, 32 over the course of one week, because I waited so I could uh, do a little tally. But we don't actually spend... whoopsies. <laughs> we don't actually spend them all that much. So I think, you know, we should today uh, maybe support the economy on block breaking a little bit. But as well, uh, we got to restock these first because, well, that's why we're getting paid. So, you know, I grab my shulkers and, well, this is TNT, I'm not going to put this one here. Grab my shulkers and just fill all the shops up. Now that that's all taken care of, I think it's time we take our diamonds to the shops and see what we can buy to make our lives easier. Because, to be honest, I'm tired of getting everything for myself at this point. Why have diamonds if you're not going to spend them? So, oh, there's some thunder outside. Uh, but I think the first place I want to go to is T's new shop. Now, T has a wonderful new shop here where she will build anything for you. Not just build it, like you need to have the design already, but actually design things for you. And I'm not a great builder, but I think I have something in mind. All right, so the payment uh, scheme here is pretty simple, yet I think I've screwed it up already. Uh, for every 10 blocks of something being designed, so, you know, X, X, Y, Z, um, X, Y, Z. So something's like a 10 by 10, it'll be two diamond blocks, which is fair because it's designing something. And I think there is, you know, there's no price on art, but this is two diamond blocks per 10 by 10. Um... The thing I want to make, I think, is going to be about 20 by 20. So that's just four there. But I also think it's 20 tall. Or it could be 20 tall. So that's another two. But I'm not sure if that means that it's... So you have a 20 by 20, right? That's four diamond blocks. But that would only be the flat layer. But if you do 20 tall, do you multiply that by two? So it would be... Um, six or would it be eight? All right, I'm confused. Either way, I think we'll pay eight just because, uh, feeling generous now. We're, we've got our wealth and we've made no shops of our own other than the one that hasn't succeeded and the other one that hasn't succeeded. So, uh, this is, oopsies, this is the idea. Clown thing. I sent some more details to make it more specific like she requested. But if we plop that in there, I can explain what we mean. So what we're looking for is a train station platform. And we've made a couple in the past. You know, we have the one over at Spawn. And then we have the one in the shopping district. And if people are going to ride this train station, they are going to want it to look nice. And they are going to want to be greeted when they get to their destination. And, well, we can't just have it ending like this. Which is why I've hired T, as you know to build us a platform. And what we're looking for here is, you know, something something fun, something whimsical. 
something that represents the games district and that is going to be a clown now it's not going to be a scary clown hopefully but a clown uh kind of like a fun house you know where they have the uh the big doors and it's their mouth uh it'll be kind of like that so the minecart will come from down there and it will come up here and somewhere right about here we'll have our clown and then whatever will happen here you know maybe we could look like make it look like it's tongue or something or we'll figure something out for that part i'm just thinking like a little building here to represent the games district and so people can see it from over there and come over here to get back to spawn and the shopping district and well wherever they want to go our next stop is wired's wing shop which also sells rockets too which is why we're here which is kind of like a you know a car dealership selling gasoline but uh you know it's a good business model um, he also has wings, which all have uh, have puns on them or, you know, other sayings just to be funny. And, you know, I like that. I don't think I'm going to give up my wings right now for that, but uh, maybe sometime soon. Uh, rocket box. Uh, check the other barrel. Check the other barrel. Check the other barrel. Oh, here we go. Rocket box. So, there we go. We got our rockets and we can move on to our next stop. I'm a bit hungry, so I think we'll stop to get some ice cream sandwiches. Uh, which, uh, actually, it's a bookshop. So this is where I come every time I die, because I gotta replace my stuff quite often. And, well, you can find any book on the server here. But today we're just looking for Respiration 3, because last time I was here it was sold out. And making that train tunnel with the, uh, with the water is quite difficult when you gotta keep surfacing every two seconds. So, luckily, they are all one diamond each here, which is a pretty good price if you ask me. Our next stop is right across the street here, and that's Oda's Woodpeckers. Uh, the customer service here is a little lackluster, but uh, he's got a great selection. So we're here for some jungle, and that's uh, one diamond for two stacks. Pretty good deal if you ask me. And that's going to go very far in Dirtville. Lastly, I want to stop at the Pork Road Diner, and that's Mike's new shop, which is very neon um i really like how he did that i'm not sure how he got the squares for the signs and he also has it looking like neon lights but uh this place is pretty cool it's themed like a 60s diner uh these kind of look like the jukeboxes you'd have and what's this oh it's an atm which is cool and mike i'm not sure how you're supposed to eat here okay uh, my one complaint is uh you know the tables are a little small um Maybe our tray will fall off a bit, but we'll see. I think we'll go we'll go for the pork here. That's just gonna be takeout. How much is it? There's prices, right? Um Mike, where are your prices? Are they on the outside? All right, I'm going to hope we pay him correctly. But from the looks of it, it's two diamonds for three. I'm going to assume that's what it is. And I'm going to pay you like that is what it is. Please don't come after me. So I was actually wrong. We do have one more stop. And that's this graveyard here. Now, you would think this is a regular old graveyard that is trying to bury me right now but actually hold on there is some oh i'm gonna run away actually there's more to it than that if we run down this way and we you know bury ourselves we actually end up in the block breaking post office and this is a really cool build built by ray and all of our mailboxes are down here now i'm at the very end over here and we don't have any mail, but what are these? Hmm. Okay, kind of looks like those eyeballs from before. Why are they? In... I didn't get one. Oh, wait, who's getting these? Gialdi, Bree, well, the new members are getting them. Hey, uh, I pranker, where is? 
Where's my eyeball? I want one. Hold on, this kind of took a turn. Spiffy's got one. Tinsier doesn't have one. Cassandra got one. Red Hat got one. All the new people are getting them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed seeing what we get up to in the run of a week on the server. It was a little bit boring, but, you know, it's not all fun and games. So, next week, we can get started on our train station station for the games district. And, of course, that will be with the design that T has come up with us that we will see next week. Hopefully, next week. So, anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!